Hello, I'm back again. Uh, it is now 2015, 1st of February, in fact, to be precise. And um, I thought that I would uh, do a YouTube video to let you know as to why I haven't been vlogging for, oh, I don't even remember when the last time was, in all honesty. Um, yeah, reason being is because I've been suffering with really bad anxiety. And so for that reason, I haven't wanted to vlog, I haven't felt in the mood, it's, it hasn't felt right to do it. Um, and so yeah, I just wanted to talk about that really, um, and highlight the fact that it, it happens to a lot of new parents. Uh, when I had Poppy, my first daughter, I didn't suffer with anything like that, and it didn't even occur to me. Um, I was only young, I was 18 years old, I had my mum's help, and for that reason I didn't ever struggle or any have any ever really have any worries. Um, uh, all different this time around. Uh, I'm a lot older and uh, you hear so much about the bad things that go on in the world that I think when you get anxiety that's what you think of. You think the bad in every situation and that's where the point that I had got to. Um, I was fine I think until about, uh, I'm trying to think, maybe about September maybe, yeah maybe about then, um, and everything was fine until then, so Malone had, had celebrated her first birthday and yeah everything was fine and then little doubts kept sinking in and I was worrying about everything, I'd, I'd get up and I would worry um, about the slightest tiniest little thing um, and I spoke to my mum about it, spoke to Dean about it and it was best that I went to see a doctor uh, because my mum thought I'd maybe been suffering from postnatal depression. Anyway, it turns out I wasn't, and I wasn't depressed. It was anxiety. Um, and there are many, many forms of anxiety. It can be for anything. Um, I think my daughter Poppy suffers with it slightly because uh, she always picks her fingers. Um, I think it used to be an anxiety problem back in primary school. Um, but not so much now, I think it's just because it's now habit. But originally I think it was like a like an anxiety kind of worry kind of sort of thing. Um, and, and now you'll just find her picking because it's just habit. She'll be sitting there watching TV and, and picking and doesn't even know she's doing it. Uh, so yeah, there are many, many different forms of it. People suffer with anxiety for doing speeches, for... Uh, oh, many many different things I can't think of any offhand now um, but I suffer with uh, a form of anxiety where I just think the worst of every situation basically, I worry about everything um, I've learnt to control it now uh, and I feel ready to carry on and do you know, I've got nothing to have anxiety about, I've got no worries in my life whatsoever um, and so I have no reason to feel like this um, Unfortunately, you can't help the way you feel. Uh, you know, you, you get the people that are made of money and yet they, they get depression, things like that. You can't help the person that you are. I think there's part of me that's always maybe suffered slightly from a bit of anxiety. Um, way, way back when I was in primary school, bizarrely, um, I suffered with um, a water infection. Uh, that went with me through the whole of my school life, I just worried about it, um, and I've always kind of been a little bit of a worrier, and I suppose then having Malone, um, and I didn't have my mum's support in the respect this time that we weren't living together, it was me and Dean, um, uh, solely responsible for this tiny person, whereas with Poppy it's slightly different because <coughs> she's at that age she can tell you if something's wrong. With Malone, she can't. So I think it was like a... She couldn't tell me and so I would worry. So <coughs> I've now got a tickle. Yeah. Uh, she can't tell me if anything's wrong and therefore I worry about it. So she only has to get a slight cough and I panic and think, oh no, chest infection. And then I think, hospital. And so I have to learn to manage that and control it and calm down and, and really... Don't be so silly, but that is easier said than done. Yes, yeah, so the main reason for my vlog is to 
highlight really uh, anxiety problems, especially in new parents. Um, I suppose really you can't call me a new parent. I'm the mother of a 15 year old and now Maloney is 18 months old as of yesterday. So really I suppose in a way you say I can't be a new mum but things like this take a, a long while for them to, to sink in and start manifesting. And so um, it's only now that I feel comfortable enough and confident enough to speak about it. Uh, I know quite a few other parents that suffer with it. Um, and there are many, many different forms of it. So it's just a case of highlighting it and realising that you're not, you know, it, it's not bad to feel this way. Um, it's completely natural. You know, in fact, everybody has got anxiety in them. It's just how much of it you kind of basically release. I guess that's the kind of word. So yeah, on that note, uh, I feel that I can now carry on with the vlogging. I felt it was a bit hypocritical to to vlog um, a while back when everything wasn't so right and I would have made my life out to be all happy and la di da when actually it wasn't. Inside I didn't feel very confident and you know I was really suffering from from bad anxiety. It wasn't suffering in the respect that I couldn't carry on my day-to-day -day things and nothing ever affected Malone or Poppy or Dean but it was always in the back of my mind. So yeah, and this is to say Le Poodle Vlogs is back in action and uh, new vlogs to come. I've got Poppy standing here who's just, Hi. who's helping me making sure that we've got enough light etc because we're doing it in our room and downstairs is quite dark. It's not much cradle up here really. Anyway, so I mean there are many different things you can do for anxiety. I think there's like heavy breathing, you know, deep breathing, um, relaxation, which I tend to do. I try and take sort of five or ten minutes out of my day at the end. Um, to just give myself 10 minutes of relaxation. I actually got the Headspace app, which I found really, really useful. Uh, really soothing voice. It was just really calming, uh, the, the deep breathing. Uh, general exercise, going for walks and, and getting out in the fresh air has really helped with that. And talking to people, um, I found it really, really useful to talk to um, my mum, my mother-in-law, my husband, um, and also friends, you know, it's it's no good keeping it bottled up because it it, it can just manifest and like I say get worse. Um, so it's really worth kind of talking it over, you know. And if it if it feels that bad, go to the doctors. There's there are always places and people to to see and who can help you. Um, you know, it's it's really important not to suffer and certainly definitely not to suffer alone. Um, is you know a medical condition there are also a couple of twitter accounts that i follow um again the headspace one they um retweet some helpful hints and things like that and also i think it's anxiety uk i can't for the life of me find one oh, anxiety uk yeah they um retweet um things that help you with anxiety things that you can do and and stuff like that so you know, it, it's worth kind of looking into it if you have got it. It's nothing to be ashamed of, like I said. Anyway, so for now, um, I'll sign off and just say that, um, yeah, hopefully you'll see some more vlogs from me and um, my loopy family. But um, for now, bye.